Boom shakalaka. It seems like the least interesting times for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Today's video, we're going to be talking about why this may be the critical, crucial, pinnacle time to get in and get your positions set. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why right now may be the moment, the last moment before things are about to turn massively. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, fear and greed at 53. For the past few weeks, just going sideways in the 50s. The overall market down 1% today. Bitcoin at 26,839. Ethereum at 1874. BNB at 301. XRP 53 cents. Cardano 37 cents. Dogecoin 7 cents. Solana 2165. And Polygon 88 cents. And the top coins today, based on artificial intelligence like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto, would be Tominet, Rocket Pool, Quant, Chromia, and the Sandbox. And you can check out Token Metrics for free. Link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today still sitting on top of this descending pattern right here. There is a massive wedge coming to be broken out within about 10 days or less. Massive price move when Bitcoin breaks out from between the 50-day and the 100-day moving averages right here. Now, that being said, the daily crypto trading volume is now the lowest it's been since 2020, right when things took off. It's the lowest. Market and aggregate is in a period of apathy and capitulation through time. Lack of speculative interest from the masses sparks opportunities for those with strong belief. Yes, everybody else is turning their attention away from Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies right now. But if you stay tuned till the end, we're going to be talking about why right now might actually be the critical moment basically right here before things exploded, why it could very likely happen in the near future. Bears and bulls may come and go, sideways markets forever it shows. The market has been moving sideways for a month and oftentimes in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, a lot of sideways movement while direction is being chosen. But one thing that's for certain is that in bear markets, it goes sideways and then down. Well, we have been in a bull market since the beginning of this year. And while it goes sideways, after it goes sideways, it goes up. So watch out because once we hit this line of support, likely price is heading up. We have proof that we are in the bull market. The one, to, one day to three month Bitcoin realized cap hodl waves have increased from the cycle low down here of 11.5% to the current value of 21.4%, 86% increase. This suggests that transfer of wealth from experienced holders to newer in demand is occurring, a phenomena common across cycle inflection points. You can see when this background changes from blue to red, that is when we go from bear to bull. And while we are still in early bull, not in bear anymore, these hodl waves do suggest that bear territory is over. Bull is on the way. As a matter of fact, Right now, longing this chart seems quite risky. And this is an inverse chart you can see if you take a look at the prices here on the right-hand side. So actually, shorting this chart would be very, very risky. This is a Bitcoin US dollar chart. If you were to short this, we have a very similar pattern. We have expanding wedges, descending wedges right here, breakout, finding support above there, and then massive rally. Well, same type of pattern happening right now, finding support above there along with a break in the RSI, all of that suggesting massive rally. Shorting this would be exceptionally risky at this moment. We do have a massive decoupling happening in Bitcoin and stocks right now. Before 2021, Bitcoin massive bull run. Bitcoin and NASDAQ had a very large decoupling happening. You can see where NASDAQ goes up and Bitcoin price goes sideways. That occurred for quite a while, a few months at that point. Well, that happened right before a parabolic Bitcoin bull run. If we take a look right now, Bitcoin moving sideways, NASDAQ moving up, beginning of decoupling happening, same market conditions, and then parabolic Bitcoin move. Right now, it's decision time for Bitcoin and altcoins if we take a look at this chart. When the 20 SMA, this blue line right here, and the middle line of the Gaussian channel, this orange and, uh, excuse me, this red and green line right here is one of the strongest signals for the market, you can see 
Previous times when this crossed, 18,000% gains, 100% gains before a little pullback due to COVID, and then another 700% after that. So you add them up, that's another 800% right there. The total market is about to cross, and we also have a cross in those two lines. Likely, big move coming up soon, potentially, even by this date we were talking about right here, about June 13th. Now, right now, Bitcoin is taking longer than historically to cross over the Gaussian channel. It only took 26 bars here, 26 weeks back in 2019. It took 50 weeks here in 2015. But the longer it takes to cross over, generally, the longer and larger that bull run will be. Make no mistake, when the crossover occurs, it may happen sooner than you think, and then there will be fireworks. Also here, the two-week Ichimoku crosses. Pay attention to long-term Bitcoin bullish crosses like this week on the two-week Ichimoku cloud. Why? Because these are once-in-a-long-time signals coming right before parabolic rallies. This is when everybody doesn't see it coming, except for the people who look at the charts. It all makes sense in hindsight, but do you have the courage to trust it in real time? This is the hard thing to do. Nobody can trust it in real time. But if we take a look, we have bullish crosses here in these green boxes. And right after all of these bullish crosses, which we did just have on the two-week Ichimoku cross, we have these purple parabolic rallies that last sometimes for quite a while, like we saw back here 2015, 2017, almost a year parabolic bull run. So that being said, right now, if we take a look at Bitcoin with these engulfing candles, with these resistance from previous highs, and with breaks and support in the RSI, right now is very, very similar to what we saw in September 2020, right before Bitcoin went on its six-week, six-month massive bull run going from $10,000 to $70,000. We have the same pattern forming right now. And a lot of people are still very uninterested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Apathy, which brings us to where Bitcoin could be headed in the near future based on what happened back here, 2018, 2019, and these widening megaphones right here. We could have $48,000 before the halving which would be May of next year, and roughly 160 after the halving. So that's where Bitcoin could be headed. And if Bitcoin's going there, imagine where all coins are going. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that episode, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.